Hand me that coolant. Did it hurt, Jason? <laughs> when I fell from heaven? When you came back to life, did the Lazarus pit hurt? It changed me. Hey, Lazarus isn't gonna bring Bruce back, Tim. Who's to say he doesn't want us to try? and expect things to work like they did. Then what am I supposed to do? Try grieving. The Court of Owls is watching, from inside of Gotham's walls. They lurk in every shadow, and they rule you, one and all. The nursery rhyme was scary enough. How long have you known the court's real, Talia? When I was still part of the League, we observed the court's growth in Gotham. Now you can see the city's rotten core. They're mining an element called Dionysium. Its makeup is similar to Lazarus Pit samples. A foul substitute for the true miracle. A contaminated extract. For centuries, the court has been looking for a fountain of youth. Instead, they found the makings of undying monsters. The talents, 
So they're using Dionysium to make soldiers. I wonder why the League doesn't get the court the good stuff. They would probably pay a lot for a Lazarus pit. <laughs> Even in their current debased state, the League would never descend to such banality. And the court's greed and corruption prevent them from ever mastering the secrets of the Lazarus pits. I mean, the League creates monsters too. Look at your father. Oh, those are some harsh words. Would you say your friend Jason is a monster as well? Of course that was you. Jason never asked you to bring him back like that, Talia. I suppose gratitude was too much to expect in exchange for another stab at life. You wouldn't dare use the word gratitude if you knew what he's been through. With Bruce gone, the court's operation grows. The League of Shadows will raise Gotham to the ground unless you silence the court. So if we take down the court, the League will just let Gotham be? <laughs> Without Batman, everyone's making their moves. I'm just wondering what yours is. I'll do what I can to distract the League. And your path to the Court of Owls will be clear. This must be how Montoya feels. Hey, Alfred, did the city records turn up anything? They didn't. According to the city permits, there's been no mining in Gotham City since the cauldron was completed. Judging from what we found last night, they've been digging down there for centuries. Hmm. Hmm. Give this a listen, Alfred. Babs managed to repair some of the court voice recordings. Dionysium brought the Talons back to life. Sort of. Dionysium's basically weak as hell Lazarus pit water. Brings back motor functions, but free will's as good as gone. So what is a Talon exactly? Some kind of feral zombie assassin? We've all seen weirder shit. Maybe. Feral zombie? Sounds like Jason, all right. I recognize a voice. The older woman is Constance Cobblepot, I'm fairly certain. And the others? More difficult to say. Maybe if I heard them in person. In person? Tim, put the waveforms on the screen. It's hard to find a match with all the damage and voice modulation. Maybe the matching system would have better luck if- We match what we have against the live voices. Fun, but how do we find these jackasses? Two words, Orchard Hotel. The Masquerade, the event of the season. This year's dedicated to Master Bruce. Gotham's rich dress up and pretend they're humanitarians. I've been a few times. So it's Dirtbag Central. With so many of Gotham's elite together, security at the Masquerade will be tight. Finding out their plans first would give you an important advantage. I'll tweak our masks to record telescopic audio. If we can get a good vantage point, we may be able to put some faces to these mystery voices. Sounds like our kind of party. There's new stuff on the board.
Don't forget that you have a rendezvous with Mr. Hendrix. Cool. Thanks, Belfry. Hendrix is somewhere close. I had a feeling this day was coming. You wouldn't believe the things that I heard at the hotel. The court seems really big on secrecy. Shit, they're real? That explains the masks. Look, one of my guys was feeding them info. And you know what? You should probably have all the same intel too. Wow, that's exactly what we needed. Thanks. This city is going to the birds, I swear. Belfry? Hendrix gave me a data drive after getting rescued. Excellent. Please return to the Belfry so we can evaluate next steps. We are almost on the scene, dispatch. I better get out of here.
I've uploaded the data we got from Hendrix. It should be ready soon. I've seen Bruce make that same face when he got stuck on a case. What's on your mind? Everything starts with Ra's al Ghul attacking Batman, but I, I can't figure out how it connects. You've never had to fight the League, have you? Ra's is... was a fanatic. He formed the League of Shadows centuries ago to root out corruption all over the world. His philosophy, if you want to call it that, is that he should destroy things to build them back up. He's wiped out multiple cities over the centuries. He set his sights on Gotham. Batman stopped him. He was impressed. So he named Bruce his heir. That suddenly, even though Bruce said no thanks. But it meant Raish left Gotham alone. That is until he showed up. Bruce. Talia says Raish was behaving erratically when he died. Yeah. I put money on that not being the whole story. Hang on. What if our starting point is earlier? Batman died while he was investigating the Court of Owls. You think Raish found out about it? But why come after his heir? Raish cares about two things. Rooting out corruption and protecting the Lazarus Pits. So if the Court was using an extract from the pits to create talents... Raish blows a gasket, steps in himself. Things escalate, both he and Bruce end up dead. And, without Batman keeping a lid on Gotham's corruption, the court starts to stretch its wings. The League follows Raish to Gotham, and there's nobody to stop them from attacking the court. Gotham City becomes ground zero for a goddamn war. And no Batman to save it. I guess that's our job now. Yeah. It is. And we know what we need to do. We root out the court. And we keep the League away from Gotham. I really miss him. Excellent. The drive Mr. Hendricks provided us contains exactly what we need.
Belfry, I've reached the Orchard Hotel. The balcony door should be open. That's your entry point. Balcony? You booked the fancy suite. It was the closest one to the ballroom. I thought you'd appreciate the proximity. You know I do. Belfry, I'm inside the orchard. Remember to find a safe place to eavesdrop in the room. If security sees you, you're toast. That must be the ballroom. No way am I waiting in line. So long. The party will be over. I'm all right, Are you always this impatient? Why is this hotel always under renovation? I paid for five star service, not to smell plaster all day. We're making some improvements, ma'am. I'll let the hotel manager know back. You'd better. Is it just me, or is there more security this year? I'd better not interrupt them. <laughs> we'll impress the voice tonight. <laughs> Belfry, the security systems should be down now. Nicely done. Remember, those guards are court members in disguise, so take them down if you can. <laughs> There's my way in. Belfry, I'm about to enter the ballroom. Well done. Let's see what Gotham's elite have to say for themselves. Record as much as possible. We need as much data as we can get. I thought I told you that formal wear was required this evening. This is formal wear. Have you been to the hotel's east staircase? The one they sealed off? I hear it's haunted. That's what I heard too. Strange noises, almost cries, and scratches in the walls. Ugh. Did you hear about Langstrom's assistant? He deserved to be let go. Just like Kirk, people forget their place. The voice remembers. Got some matches here. No sign of the voice yet. <laughs> Look at this. Even in death, Wayne tries to outdo us. Let him have his final hurrah. After tonight, it won't be a problem. You're right. His death ought to be a celebration. What do you think this is? Couple matches. These people are something else. Did you sign the guest book? How could I not? I've got people to impress. Did you see some of the names in there? I did. Senators, judges, CEOs, even the mayors here. Is this all they could muster for the great Bruce Wayne? It's embarrassing. 
When I go, it'll be a spectacle. Fireworks, dancers, ice sculptures, the works. What do you mean he won't see me? I'm the goddamn mayor! I'm afraid his schedule won't permit it. You tell Colonel Kane that I won't be frozen out. My office demands respect. Of course it does, Mayor Sai. I'll relay your message. Hard to believe Bruce Wayne is gone. I know. I was hoping to be a state this year. I can't believe they talk like this in public. Pillars of Gotham! May I please have your attention? It is my absolute pleasure to present our host for the evening. Host? In an owl mask? Ten dollars says that's the voice of the court. Thank you all for the warm welcome. But tonight is not about me. We are here to remember one of Gotham's greatest sons, Bruce Wayne. Now, you all knew the Playboy. I knew his charity. A brash defender of Gotham's best. Though he's gone now, Bruce's contributions to this city will be felt for decades to come. This is for you, Bruce. The last of our precious Wayne family. You've helped us in ways you never realized. And may we, the surviving families of Gotham, strive to live up to your inimitable legacy. voice of the court. We have a match. Good. Stay on him. We need to find out who he is. Sir, the labs are requesting more Dionysium to meet their production deadline. I'm aware. Arrangements are being made. Let them know that I expect the quota to be met. No excuses. Thank you, sir. You know, I can't take phone calls when I'm working. <laughs>
are the arrangements made? If it pleases the court. Excellent. I'll see you downstairs. Now I can't track him. Weird. Somehow he went missing when he was between the floors. Robin, we just found a hidden 13th floor in the hotel blueprints. Maybe that's where the voice went. Maybe this haunted stairwell leads to Lucky 13. Belfry, I'm on the 13th floor and found a court door. This has to be it. Understood. Tread carefully. Floor. What are they hiding here? Now, if I was the voice of the court, where would I be? Belfry, any idea where I should start looking? Belfry? Oh, of course, there's no comms. That would be too easy. Trying to sneak up and strike. Well, the old voice of the court on vinyl. They must have custom pressed it. That meeting's over. I wonder what they were looking at. for someone else. If this recording isn't enough for a conviction, I don't know what is. But there's still plenty to clean. Destroy everything. Make it so Langstrom never existed. We must send a message. You are only an owl of the court. So long as you remain loyal to the court. So many names. High-profile murders, missing persons. Langstrom's on here. Is this a list of court targets? <laughs> no 
nothing here. I should stay alert and <laughs> history of Gotham architecture. Did the court have a hand in all these buildings? Gotham Cathedral. GCPD Central Station. The numbers on the wall are the years each place was built or renovated by court-connected firms. City Hall. Courthouse. on the right track. By controlling these buildings, the court also controls the different power structures in Gotham. No wonder they're so powerful. Of course. I should have known it was you.
It's high time we talk. I thought you wanted to talk. Go to the painting. So you made it here, all by yourself. You're trying to destroy Gotham. I can't let that happen. Destroy Gotham? Now we're trying to save her. Preserve her glory. I understand now the potential you could have to do the same. You talk like you weren't just another villain, hiding behind a mask. The only one hiding behind a mask is you, Tim. Jacob Kane? How, how? How do you know? I know. Just like I knew my nephew Bruce was out there, keeping the peace in his armored pajamas. <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't tell anyone. Call it loyalty to Martha. We all live double lives, trying to shelter the city from chaos. It's just, our court is quieter about it. The people of Gotham aren't puppets. When they find out you're pulling their strings, they're not gonna like it. Yeah, Batman would probably say the same thing in your position. That's why I never told Bruce about the court. We have the same ends. The same enemies. It's madness you're not serving us. Except Robin doesn't kill people. <laughs> A difference in tactics, I'll admit. For protectors of Gotham, you sure murder a lot of your friends. Kirk Langstrom, his assistant? Those who betray us will suffer for it. Langstrom betrayed the court. Bruce used his fortune to fight for this city. You fight for yourself. He never would have stood for this. Do not use my nephew against me. I mourn Bruce. I want answers for his death. Just like you. I'm nothing like you, Jacob. Understood. I protected Bruce, but I won't protect you. If you won't join us, I'm afraid you'll have to join Langston. Clearly, I have bigger problems right now. Just stay out of my way. You won't like what happens next. Oh no. I should get back to the ballroom.
the League's just killing everyone. This is awful. Montoya? It's Robin. I think you heard what happened at the hotel. I was inside. I saw everything. Yeah? Then care to tell me who the hell those assassins were? The League of Shadows. They're a secret organization. best and brightest at the Orchard Hotel is a new low for the city of Gotham. It is time for the real heroes, the GCPD, to step up and restore order in our city. To take it back. Yeesh. Surprisingly, Commissioner Kane isn't a match for any of the voices we collected. Hey! She may not be a court member, but the Commissioner could still be helping them. She did marry Jacob. Catherine is probably not aware of her husband's secret. I know Jacob well, and have never had even the slightest suspicion. Colonel Asshole fooled everyone. Even Bruce. The other people we matched at the ball. John Wycliffe, Isabella Haas, Maria Powers. All killed at the hotel by the League. Colonel Kane's the only member we know survived for sure. And probably Old Lady Cobblepot. She's unaccounted for. And the court is clearly much bigger than Jacob Kane and Constance Cobblepot. The almighty voice was right, you know. <laughs> no one will believe a nursery rhyme's been pulling Gotham's strings for so long. But people will believe that Jacob Kane conspired to murder Langstrom. We have the evidence to prove it. Let's get this to Detective Montoya. See if it's enough for her to build her case. I'll be sure to include our list of known members, dead or otherwise. We need to be careful about this. Jacob will be waiting for us to try something. Someone should talk to Talia. The court and the League are clearly out to kill each other. And let's be ready when we're caught in between them. We updated the board while you were out. Catherine Kane isn't doing this city any favors. Things are bad enough between the court and the League without the cops stirring. Our nights are about to get a lot more complicated.